2012 Shane Hybrid. Now this is the ultimate culmination of all the years of R&D and testing and prototyping to develop the Liquid Force Hybrid line. And Shane's board, Shane's Hybrid, is a true all-terrain vehicle. By that I mean this board works in every environment you can imagine. Whether you're at a cable park or you want to charge behind the boat, Shane's new board will give you that performance in every, in every environment, on every feature, in every situation. Shane's board comes in three sizes, a 134, a 138, and a 142. And like all hybrids, it's got the four features that make these boards work. A CNC precision core with wood and foam to make it a light and lively core. Now what you'll see on Shane's board is we, this is our ultimate hybrid board and we want to, we don't just want to talk about what this board is about, we want to show it to you. So the graphic, we've ripped the graphic away to show you the insides. You can see the stringers right here through the board. We've got a triple stringer arrangement, this longitudinal grain wood placed between lightweight foam. Now this is a different, lighter, compressive strength foam, but super lightweight. It's a PVC foam, making Shane's board the lightest hybrid core possible. You'll notice right through the top sheet, you can see the liquid rail sidewall. It's that super durable elastomeric sidewall that makes these boards strong, lets them take a hit and stay together. It's got triax glass layup that gives you torsional rigidity with longitudinal flex. And of course, we finish it out with an unreal screen print, back printed on our durable grind base, liquid force grind base centered material. And what makes Shane's board really special and what's driven one of the major innovations on all the liquid force boards is we've got M6 inserts. And M6 inserts was something that first happened because we needed to have enough screws to attach the binding securely on Shane's board because the, the sections got so thin on this board, we had to go to a special insert just to be able to have enough turns and still have the bottom contours in the board. So we moved to an M6 in the prototyping phase of Shane's board, found out that this works so good and improve the board boot interface so much better than the previous way inserts were done that we decided to make this change across the board on every single board. So from our Stars and Nemesis kids boards all the way up to the top of the line, the most expensive board we make, they all have M6 hardware because it's better. Now on the whole of Shane's board, think about the thing about this board and what made it an all-terrain board is Shane really loved the way his board rode, but he wanted to turn it into a hybrid. And he had a really deep, deep convoluted bottom with some super deep channels, super deep concaves, that it was, a quest it was questionable whether we could even do this in a hybrid construction. So that's what drove us to M6, because the sections had to get so thin with this deep double concave running into this triple concave with a super deep single through the middle, that in order to make that happen, the sections got thin, the insert got shallower, we moved to M6 and came up with a board that has those features of Shane's Pro model, but in a hybrid shape with a proper rail profile. So whether you're charging into a wake or charging into a rail, this port's gonna work and work unreal. You've really gotta try out Shane's board to appreciate it. Demo one of these, I'm telling you, you're going to be stoked. Shane Hybrid.